probably the most common fountain pen question I see on forums or Facebook groups or Reddits is, is it safe to fly with fountain pens? Let's answer that and go through this as quick as we can. So we got three of the most common filling mechanisms, cartridge converter, piston filler, and a vac filler. Let's use the vac filler because it's a demonstrator and it's going to show you the problem. The problem is this air pocket. This exists in all these pens. If you ink it up all the way, fine, there's no air pocket, but then when you use it, there will be an air pocket. What's the problem with the air pocket? Well, when you inked up this pen and when you worked with this pen and there's that air, it is at one atmosphere's worth of pressure because for most of us, we operate somewhere around sea level, even if you're in the mountains, that is still at a higher pressure. That's one atmosphere's worth of pressure and that's higher pressure than when you ascend in an airplane, they cruise at about 36,000 feet and the air cabin is at a lower pressure. There's a slight vacuum. It's about a three PSI or so vacuum compared to where you were before you took off. Now what happens is pressure is at a higher level than it is in the air cabin and they like to equalize and they equalize by going from high to low. And if there's ink in the way, when they go to stabilize, the ink's gonna get out of the way and cause a mess and now they'll stabilize. So what do you do? How do you fix this? Now for some they say, oh, just don't ink your pens, fly with them dry. Well, what if you got like a 12 hour flight? You need something to do. I want to use my pens. So ink them up, travel with them, nib up, put them in the seat back in front of you if you can. That's a perfect little place. Now, wait until you're at cruising altitude just to be safe. So the stabilization of air cabin pressure has happened. Then go to use your pen, but for the very first time, especially, have it nib up, unsheath the pen, and something magical will just happen on a microscopic level. The air pressures just equalize. The little air pockets at the top, that equalize with the air cabin. Now, the reason you want to do this for the first time with nib up when you uncap is a lot of caps seal a pen extremely well. And even if you're traveling with it nib up, they still haven't equalized. So you got to do that. Uncap it, nib up, and you're good to go. And now the pen stabilized, you can go ahead and use it. The only time you might run into a problem is if there is all of a sudden a sudden decrease in air cabin pressure. And in that case, your fountain pen could be the least of the worries you got to deal with. Now, some people say, oh, just use a vac filler. It's the safest. Nothing can go wrong. Oh, really? Let's talk, think about this for a second. You will also need to uncap the pen nib up, but you're not done yet. Because when you go to use a vac filler, you go, oh, well, you, uh, you shut it off here. You're not going to leak. Well, you go to use the pen and the ink isn't in the section here. So what you have to do is open this up. Uh-oh. The problem is still here. We have high pressure and low pressure hasn't stabilized and you maybe go to move the pen around and all of a sudden it stabilizes and the ink gets out of the way. So you're not done. What you got to do is when you uncap, yes, nib up, keep it, nib up, open up the valve. So now all of a sudden, phew, these stabilize, they hit the same pressure, okay? Don't forget that step on a vac filler. So if you're about to jump on an airplane right now, all I can say to you is bon voyage. And what you can do for me is hit subscribe. It helps out the channel. Check out my other videos. We're having lots of fun. Catch you next time.